What's up, it's Key. Welcome or ooh, shit. What's up, it's Key. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, first of all, welcome. I'm a freelance fashion designer and brand owner, and I just like to share my fashion journeys here with you, lovely internet people. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would love to have you stick around. So go ahead and subscribe, and we'll get right into the video. So last time you saw me plan and design out the collection for this series and today we're going to get started on the first piece which is these super loud shorts and I've already drawn and sketched everything out as you saw, fabric shopped and all of that kind of stuff so let's get started sewing. Getting started I've already used one of my old shorts patterns to cut out all of my fabric pieces. We start with two front pieces, two back pieces, the pocket and the pocket flaps. I want to focus on the pockets first because it'll be easier to sew on a flat pattern piece rather than trying to fight to get back into the shorts once the shorts are done. I sew the two pieces of the flap together making sure to pivot the presser foot at all of the points and then I trim down all of the excess and turn it right side out so that we have a nice little pocket flap. After I give the pocket and the pocket flap a press with the iron, I attach it to one of the front side pieces of the, the shorts. Next, since this fabric is a mesh, it's kind of like this spongy like neoprene fabric, it's really cool, but it's see-through, so we want to cut out a lining. I attach the lining to all of the main pieces by surging along all of the edges. Next, I attach the shorts front rise to front rise, back rise to back rise, and then I attach the short front to back at the side seam. That took me so long to explain. <laughs> So after creating a casing, I looped the elastic through at the waistband, which hurt my fingers. I was pretty sure I gave myself carpal tunnel doing this. Once I get the elastic all the way through, I sandwich it top to bottom and then go back and forth with a zigzag stitch about a million and two times to secure it. Secure it. Let me tell you a story. One time I did not like zigzag back and forth enough. So I put the shorts on, the entire elastic exploded. I have to do the entire waistband over again. Do not ever do that. It was so annoying. Like more than anything, it was just really annoying. So go over that a bajillion times. Just so you know, we should be pressing out all of our seams as we sew each seam. So I've been doing that, trust me. I just didn't say that I was. So finally, I rolled the hem, tapped it down in a few places, front, back, side, and side. Then in my sketch, there was these like straps coming down the leg, but I decided that it was a belt instead because I didn't want to have to figure out how the straps were going to be strapping, you know what I'm saying? So I made a belt with the self fabric and here is the final look. I might need a drop of album for the cap is like yeah 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 so much for watching especially if you made it this far into the video and i am so excited to continue this series to continue this collection with y'all and uh, you know next time it might be like a little a little jacket you know i, I don't know you're gonna have to tune in to see so <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time all right bye maybe i should walk this way oh. <laughs> Thank you.
I might need to drop an album for the Grammys, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 